This is a question that we get asked a lot and we wanted to address all the different factors involved in making this decision for your pet. Have a look at the terminology that is commonly used. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. The female surgery is usually called a spay, the medical name is ovario hysterectomy. You would call a female dog that has had the procedure a spayed female. If she has not been spayed she would be called an intact female. The male surgery is usually called a neuter or castration the medical name is orchidectomy. You would call a male dog that has had the procedure a neutered male. If he has not been neutered he would be called an intact male. Cancer. Cancer is a leading worry for anyone who has furry family members. There are many factors that contribute to the development of cancer, genetic predisposition, breed, age, viral infection, environment, and chronic inflammation to name a few. Spay and neuter status can also either increase or decrease the risk, depending on the type of cancer. Mammary gland tumors. The pet equivalent of breast cancer are the most common cancer in female dogs and are often malignant. In the US, where most pets are spayed, the rate of mammary cancer is 3.4%. In Italy, where most pets are not spayed, between 1985 to 2002, mammary cancer accounted for 70% of all cases of cancer and the rate of mammary cancer in Norway was 53%. It has been well established that spaying has the greatest benefit for prevention of mammary cancer if done before the first heat, risk of mammary cancer is 0.05%. The risk of mammary cancer rises with each heat, 8% if spayed after the first heat, and 26% if spayed after the second heat. So with mammary cancer spaying is protective and the earlier the better. Other female cancers, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, vaginal and vulvar cancer are all rare or uncommon and are all prevented by spaying. The age of spaying likely doesn't matter a lot as long as the surgery is performed before the cancer has a chance to develop. Testicular cancer is common in males, accounting for 16% to 27% of cancer in sexually intact males. Neutering prevents this cancer as long as the surgery is performed before the cancer develops. Prostate cancer is rare in dogs. Neutering has been shown to slightly increase the risk of prostate cancer but the age of neutering likely does not impact whether or not it develops. In fact, in one study, neutered dogs tended to be older when the prostate cancer was diagnosed. Risk of prostate cancer also differs among breeds. Orthopedic problems. Orthopedic diseases such as cranial cruciate ligament CCL or ACL, injuries and hip dysplasia are not inherently life-threatening. But they can have significant impact on quality of life and can have financial implications if surgical repair is required. Spaying and neutering may be a risk factor for these issues, but larger breed dogs are inherently at increased risk. Hip dysplasia. Genetics is the biggest factor in whether or not a dog develops hip dysplasia. Studies in Golden Retrievers showed a slightly increased risk in males neutered before one year of age and a slight increased risk for boxers with no relation to what age they were spayed or neutered. There is no relationship between spaying and neutering and hip dysplasia in German Shepherds. Cranial cruciate ligament injuries are very common. These injuries have been linked with trauma, aging, obesity, the shape of the leg, the angle of the stifle joint and degeneration of the ligament. Studies have shown an increased risk of CCL injuries in spayed and neutered dogs, but the incidence varied widely among breeds. One study that looked at golden retrievers found an increased risk with spaying, but the age at time of spaying didn't matter. A study in German Shepherds found that those spayed and neutered before one year of age had an increased risk over intact males and females but did not compare for those spayed and neutered at over one year of age. So we are unsure if waiting to spay and neuter when dogs are a little older would be protective or not. That's all about spay or neutering your pet. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique 
guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.